the NES or NES Nintendo Entertainment System. The fault of the white screen when a cartridge is inserted. Can we fix it for eight great British pounds? Let's see. Welcome to another one of repairing a NES or a Nintendo game system with the cartridge issue where you get a blinking light or garbage on the screen or just misbehaving unless you sort of pull it right back to the edge for it to behave. So what we have, we have the lovely replacement 72 pin connector which obviously as you know you put the cartridge in and you push it down and you push it down and you push it down and the pins eventually just go detonate. it so obviously that NES is happy it's working but if you put the cartridge in it just don't want to play you have to wiggle it around so I'll show you as an example so you can see it and go from there so we have in there the game obviously or in there if we turn on the TV ignore the rolling bars because it is a CRT because I use it for the light gun games so I am sorry if it starts flashing like a lunatic I am using an iPhone to record it so I can't set 50 Hertz or things like that so you'll see it rolling like a hell so sorry for that but obviously if I turn it on we have Duck Hunt and he's happy, but watch this. Duck Hunt. Would you believe it? Don't do that normally. Try again, something different. Well, that was a pointless video. Did it do that before? No. You are having a giraffe. Oh, I bought that. Hey, see, I'm not going stupid, pain in backside. So, turn him off, move him ever so slightly out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hey! So, yeah, we're going to change that. Oh, broke it. Broke it, broke it. Hmm. So, yeah, we're going to change that. The good old Naz. So, let's get rid of the game. And let's. Open this up and put in the good old 72 pin connector. I'll link in the description below for the part from Amazon. And then hopefully I can put stuff in and it'll behave. Will this one fit? No! Let's break out Stan.
the shield and start working in. Yep. Seven screws for that one. Right, and then we've got the brass ones here, but then we've got these two, which are important because they're extra long, which goes through that. Supposedly, slide up and out. Which, from my point of view, no. All right, lift the board ever so slightly. Fair enough. And it says it's got a. What's just there for the notch? Has it got a special notch? Anything to fit in? No, just that gap there to get the bit through to get it easily in. Right, so we just have there and there to lift the board. And I can do the bottom shield and replace, which looks Mac to anything, but yep, probably why it needs replacing. Lift it out. Come here. Come on, there we go. Alright, so this is held on by what? Anything? Or just that? Alright, so it reckons without having to disconnect all the wires and make a complete mess, this should lift up and wiggle out. There we go. And then this thing should just wiggle off. So, let's get the new one. Like so. And he's going to go on 
like that. Okay. So this apparently is very tight as it comes off. But if it's wiggled carefully, it should come off without any major issue. So, new one on. Ooh, definitely a tight fit. So, new one is on, holes line up. Let's slowly put all this back together. So, him over there. He wants to go in there, you get in there. Go on. Because my thing isn't gathering hold of it because it's brass. Oh. How many times is this going to be? 3, 4, 18, 28, 50 billion. Do you know? Do you know? Oh, my big fat fingers don't get in the wing. Like so. Now, get this baby back on. Right. So, he wants to get in here. Which is a bit of a bad pain in the arse. Go on. This was where it was difficult to get it back in. So, is he in? Oh, not in. No, nowhere near. So, boom down. Aha. So, yeah. So, you have to get that weird V shape underneath into the ridge and it goes back in. Right. So. Brass, brass, brass. Brass, brass, brass. Come on. And I reckon you don't tighten them more than just, just ish tight. And then. It should behave, but as we say, we will see. Hopefully this will fix the annoyance of it reading the cartridges once in a blue moon, or wiggling it and wiggling it and wiggling it and wiggling it. 
so we will soon find out. You went in the hole at all? No. Why not? Why are you not in the hole? You annoying thing. Right, these big long ones. Straight through it, all the way into the case. Same as this one. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So cartridge. Ah, nice and tight this time, instead of it being as slack as anything to put them in, so that's a bonus. Right, do the motherboard, well not motherboard, but the, the shielding down. If they had a brain, i put this one in first. What an idiot. Dun, 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 dun. I didn't want that one, I just threw it. I should not throw the screw halfway across the room. Trying to keep them all the same. La, 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 la. And then top back on, double check everything still lines up before you go and screw the whole thing together and find it's like no.
Right, let's see if nine pounds of UK money now has fixed the intermittent problem of my NES. Let's have a go. So we have it back in position with the new 72 pin connector instead of that one, which is just scored to hell and very wavy. And by the looks of it, the pins that are nothing to do with a protection chip which you can bypass there definitely no <laughs> it looks like a river sort of running so yeah not not good for trying to get the pins to match when you try and put it in but as I say you can actually get a mod for a straight load so you don't have to push it down hence it doesn't put the strain on the pins but uh, eight pound odd on Amazon nah, I can't really fault it so right let's have a go so we'll do the obligatory nothing in, turn it on, and we should get white flash, flash, nothing, perfect. So now, game one, it's going to be nice and tight now though, so you push in, push down, instantly on, and like before, when it wants to be stupid and we want to put the other one in, now and again, didn't want to behave. Perfect, straight into duck hunt. Simple as that. So not cleanable because the pins bend because of the stretch on them, but literally eight pounds worth, a few screws, five minutes work, job done. I hope you like this video. And if you would like to like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. Here at Retro Roma, we try to have a video every week covering the different retro hardware. Enjoy watching me be useless at Duck Hunt. Enjoy and goodbye. Not very good. Should we just cheat? Nope, I lost. Oh well. Game over.